Hello and welcome to Masters Theory ICT exam paper 1. This one I'm going to concentrate on November 2013 version 2 and I'm going to concentrate on the security aspects that can come up in this paper. Start off with the first question identifies some devices that you may not be familiar with. So name the storage media A, B and C, D using the words from the list below. So if I just quickly highlight this one, it's probably the one you're not very familiar with. Okay, so A is a magnetic tape. Okay, so it's a very old fashioned storage device. Okay, it's a serial um, access type of data. Next, you are, you are familiar with this. This is a flash memory card. This is quite obvious. Look out for the symbol here. That's obviously the Blu-ray disc. And finally, if you've not ever opened a PC before, the hard drive that is internal would be this one, is the hard disk. Okay. In this particular question, it's um, the computer network section. We have named and described three ICT methods which could be used to prevent illegal access to computer networks. Now, the first one and the most obvious one is going to be firewall. Okay, a firewall will prevent okay illegal activity from accessing a internal network. All right. And what the firewall will allow you to do is, is that it will keep uh, known computers from accessing the network and unknown computers being blocked. Uh, one nice way is saying it will um, filter all information so you only get good information coming onto the network and any bad information trying to get in will be blocked. The next main aspect would be a username and PIN number. Now, the whole point of a network is in order to access an, a LAN or a network you need a username. The username is what we call a unique name to identify a person and that's how you explain it in the exam. And the password is also required as part of the answer because the password will allow the user okay, to authentic authenticate themselves to the network. So you really need to say both. Um, it's not going to be certain that you'll get the mark if you only leave username for one answer and password say for an, uh, a third answer. Username and password will be classed as one form of method. So we have firewall, username password and as a third example, as technology is advancing and changing, um, it, is, it could be a new form of method such as any type of biometric data. Okay, So biometric data such as fingerprints that, that is now like available on iPhones. Um, also you can buy a uh, biometric fingerprint uh, scanner that you can plug into your computer. Any forms of biometric iris scan could be used as an example here, all because these are very unique to an individual. And again, you use that word again, authenticate. So these unique characteristics of a person or user will be used to authenticate themselves onto a network. Uh, so unique onto a network. Okay, so use the word authenticate again. And as a final one, you could also talk about a magnetic strip reader. Okay, most professional organizations um, have employees with an ID card. That ID card could also double up as a magnetic strip, which identifies a user as, as they... Uh, Enter the network, so a magnetic strip, it could be another possible answer for this scenario. Magnetic.
antique strip card. Okay. In this question, uh, I would like to just clarify backup. What is meant by backup? So in a server, it's important that a backup is carried out. It's a big advantage of a network. Um, so in order to do a backup, you would need to do a backup on an alternative medium. If you save your work on a hard drive and you also have a backup on that hard drive, it cannot be classed as a backup as if that hard drive is corrupted then the backup on the hard drive will also be corrupted. So in this scenario what uh, you need to do is is make a copy of the file. So you make a copy of the file and you place that on a alternative medium in case anything happens to the original so the backup is on another medium. It is usually removed from the location of the computer but as long as you have these three points okay you should get the definition of a backup correct for two marks. In this question, we have explained the differences between fishing and farming. Now, this is for four marks. There's um, a particular word that could help you remember to differentiate between the two. So, giving the answer first of all, if you imagine phishing and link it to an email, that should help you differentiate between the answers. Okay, but if that doesn't help, if you imagine farming, okay, as an example, what we have here with farming is this normally happens in South Asia, for instance, where you have something called farms and what these people do is they set up streams of websites okay, that look like the real thing and they try and pass off being maybe something like Facebook, it could be a bank, okay, it, it could be very reputable companies, okay, such as it could be British Airways, it could be Virgin, okay, Richard Branson's firm and these are huge websites and what they do is they try and get you to redirect customers information personal information so for instance a Facebook account that you use on a regular basis okay it would look the same it would act the same but as soon as you put that information in into a farming website the whole idea is that they try and get you to misdirect the traffic to a malicious or fraudulent website and with fishing if you imagine you were going fishing okay you're trying to catch some fish and if the fish goes for your hook okay you've got the you've got the fish okay you've beat the fish or tricked the fish into getting your bait so similar to fishing is people might try and send out lots of emails okay normally this is called spamming or spam email and what they're trying to do is they're trying to fish for information they're trying to get anyone to respond okay to an email and if they're lucky enough for someone to reply to a spam email then the chances are your identity will be used for the wrong purposes and passed on for other purposes than intended to. Now in this November paper the last question of the question paper is seven marks 
So although this is kind of an easy or comfortable looking question, so look, describe some of the benefits and drawbacks of students using the inter internet to do research for homework. Now this is something that might not have been discussed um, recently in Key Stage 4 and something you would have covered quite well maybe in Key Stage 3. So I think it's important just to recap the importance of this as there's so many marks offered for this type of question. So bringing up the answers very quickly. The benefits of using the internet of course you should we shall um, begin with the internet has a vast amount of information. It has so much information and there's a wide range of information. So that's one benefit. The other one is the speed of search. Only if you're referring to the use of a search engine. Always avoid putting one word answers such as it's faster and it's easier. Okay, it doesn't have a reason, so it's not a benefit. You must state that the speed is quicker through the use of a search engine. Um, the next is lots of negatives. Okay, so one negative is there's a danger that you could tend to go on inappropriate websites. There's a vast amount of inappropriate websites and you get um, pop-ups that appear all the time it can take a very long time to find exactly what you need it's not very easy to find exactly what you need on the internet because it's such a vast amount if you're on a network or you're on dial-up or you're on a phone you might have connectivity problems Okay. the uh, information you find on the internet it might not always be accurate and it could be biased Okay, blogging is a great form of information, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's 100% accurate. So this may lead to a lack of expertise. Okay, and as modern technology and the websites are increasing uh, for everybody to use, this allows for e.g. plagiarism to happen. So these are lots of negatives to think about. Finally, this is almost a benefit and a negative is the internet tends to be up to date but it can also be out of date out of date okay thank you for watching this video